Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So you can see we have a new decor. Um, we actually just opened our wine shop and bar uh, with my wife and we're very happy for you to discover this place. Uh, we'll have a little tour of it uh, a bit later. So today we'll discover a Chateau Grillet Appellation and of course winery. So Chateau Grillet is located in the northern part of the Rhone Valley region, uh, at the south of Cotroti and the north of Condrieu, uh, between the uh, commune, the villages of Vérin and Saint-Michel-sur-Rhône, and on the right bank of the Rhône River. So this appellation producing only white wines has the particularity to have only one vineyard producing it that bears the same name, Chateau Grillet. The winery, however, also produces Côte du Rhône Blanc Appellation and Condrieu AOC, Condrieu La Carterie. So the superficies of about 3 hectares and the production is of about 28 hectolitres per year. As we got this climate, it is a real amphitheater uh, facing south. So the Chateau Grillet vineyard benefits from an exceptional microclimate, warm and sunny and protected from the north wind. Uh, the soil is very rich. There is two geological formations. An old formation of granite with biotite from the primary era, which is rock made up of quartz, uh, feldspar and micas, whose alteration gives sandy soils, uh, more or less clay. And there's also a younger formation cooperating to lowest deposits, um, Aeolian deposits from the Quaternary era, and found very occasionally in depression in the vineyard. So these poor, healthy and well-drained soils offer the ideal conditions for producing great wines. And the crab subsoil allows the plant to easily sink its roots to draw water and mineral elements. So as we got the histories, the appellation grillé means grilled or burned by the sun which occasionally dominated the castle. That's where the name came from. It designates both the building, the locality and the vineyard, which has been listed as part of the French national heritage since May 1976 for its beauty and its age. In antiquity, the history of Chateau Grillet interwined with that of Condrieu. Uh, these vineyards will have been planted by the Emperor Probus from plants brought back from Dalmatia in the 3rd century after Christ. If this version of the origin of the vineyard is assumed, uh, the evidence of anteriority of its establishment and the wine culture which result from it abound, in particular on the archaeological site of Saint Romain en Galles, renowned for its many mosaics exhumed among one of which represent a scene of grape harvest and crushing grapes. The initial development of the vineyard in this region is therefore probably linked to the Roman peace, which allowed the Allobroge, whose territory included parts of the right bank of the road, to acquire Roman citizenship and thereby the right to plant vines. Uh, the vineyard is mentioned regularly in the chronicles of travelers from the 17th to the 18th centuries, the wines of uh, Chateau Grillet will be present in the cellars of the greatest. In a journal in 1814, after the death of uh, Empress Josephine de Beauharnais, reveals the presence among the best vintages of 296 bottles of Chateau Grillet wine. Today, the famous small estate belongs to a single owner, and it was recognized AOC in 1936. So Chateau Grillet is exclusively producing white wine, as we mentioned, using the Viognier grape variety. The wine has clear and brilliant color, very aromatic, and offers a sense of honey, peach, apricot. Uh, the acidity in the mouth is present but discreet, compared to the sensation of roundness and smoothness in the mouth. It is a wine aged in oak barrels in vats for two years. It expresses richness and fullness uh, beyond 10 years, so it's a wine to be kept. So to pair Chateau Grillet, uh, it is nice with refined dishes such as foie gras, fishes and seafood, roaster boat, uh, grilled lobster, scallops, but also poultry, like poultry in a white creamy sauce. Uh, with Asian cuisine, it works really well also with spicy food and sweet and sour flavors. And with cheese, it is ideal to pair it with goat cheese, such as a rigot from the same region. So thank you for watching this video about Chateau Grillet. We hope you liked it. And see you next time for another wine video. Cheers!
Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.